Every new, year, every new year, rather, millions of people resolve to win their Battle of the Bulge. CBS 2 Ventura County reporter Amy Johnson shows us two new challenges that may just help you get the job done. New Year's Day will mark the start of a new diet for many of us, and two team challenges just may aid you in the Battle of the Bulge this year. Yeah. We want this to be about health and fitness. Mm -hmm. Melissa Collins, owner of Cardio Bar in Simi Valley, and Dr. Randa Kobe, owner of the World of Wellness, have teamed up for the second annual Simi Valley Health and Fitness Challenge. Every two weeks we do weigh-ins. We also have health and fitness um, seminars that help teach people how to eat, what real food is, as opposed to what we're told food is. We do walking groups every Wednesday, and we do a lot of emotional, physical, nutritional support kind of thing to help people reach their goals. It costs $75 to enter the 13-week challenge and monetary prizes go to the biggest losers. And so the point was to have families and friends and coworkers all get together and compete for cash prizes. The Rotary Club of Moore Park Morning and the Moore Park Athletic Club have partnered up for the Big Loser Moore Park competition. We're going to weigh them at the beginning, weigh them in at the end. It costs $25 to enter this eight-week team competition. I think the whole team concept is a great idea. Uh, what it does is they, they actually motivate each other. These weight loss challenges aren't just about losing, they're also about gaining financially for two different organizations. All proceeds for the Big Loser competition will go to the In Polio Now campaign. Part of the Rotary Club's ongoing goal. It is still rampant in about three countries, and there was a recent outbreak in Russia. And the Simi Valley Challenge will once again help children in the community. We um, gave over $1,000 to the Boys and Girls Clubs who were able to help the kids in Simi Valley, and we'd like to do even more this year. You can live anywhere to take part in the competitions. In Moorpark, Amy Johnson, CBS 2 News.